Hey everybody, Marcus here with nextlevelrecording.com and thanks for checking out this video. I want to talk to you about cleaning up your mixes and creating clarity, especially in your low end. I get this question all the time. You know, my low end just sounds gross. It's muddy. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. How should I EQ? And the biggest thing you can do in your mixes for clarity is high pass filtering. High pass filtering is also known as a low cut or where you're cutting the low frequencies out of certain elements in the mix. I'm telling you, this is going to create the biggest improvement in, in your mixes, hands down. I typically do this on every single track. And including kick and bass, uh, not as much on kick and bass, but I definitely do it maybe up to 30 or 40 hertz. But typically when you're, you're high pass filtering something, you want to enable the, the filter and you want to sweep up until it starts to sound thin. And then you're going to want to roll it back. This is going to clean up the low end so your bass and kick have enough room in the mix to breathe and, and really have their own space. Um, and it's also going to create a lot of headroom in your mix. Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, my guitar doesn't have a lot of low end in it. Uh, why do I need to take it out? Well, just because you don't hear it doesn't mean it's not there. There could be low end buildup around 30 hertz, 40 hertz that are taking up space and they're taking up headroom in your mix. So cutting this out, like I said, is going to create more space for your bass and your kick and it's going to create more headroom. Now today I'm just working with an acoustic guitar and I'm using the FabFilter Pro Q2, which has a frequency analyzer in it, which is going to show you exactly the frequencies that, that we're cutting out. So let me just go ahead and press play and you'll see uh, what I'm talking about. Cool. Now, if you're looking at this frequency analysis right now, you can see I have a lot of buildup from 200 hertz down. Now, this is completely unnecessary in this acoustic guitar, especially when it's being played in the mix with all the other elements. So in this case, I would grab my high pass filter and I would take it up to maybe 100, 180 to maybe 200. Let's just go 180. And, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bypass this and re-enable, and you're going to hear the low end clean up and the boominess of this guitar go away. Now, as you can see, it cleaned up the, the boominess of this guitar up. I think I, I rolled it back to 137. But you can see from the free frequency spectrum that there was a lot of low end. Even even down here in this range, there there was a big low end buildup in 50, 60, 70 hertz that wasn't doing anything for this mix. So I cleaned it up. Now, you should do this on every track, including vocals, even your bass and your kick. It's going to create some space, and it's, it's going to make your low end tighter. It's going to clean up your tracks. It's going to make you have clearer mixes, and it's is I guarantee you is the best thing you can do for your mixes if you're just getting started or if you're a pro. That's basically it. I just wanted to show you a quick demonstration on on high pass filtering. I uh, hope you can use this to your advantage to take your mixes to the next level. Please visit our website, nextlevelrecording.com, and check out our weekly blog that we're going to be having. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave some comments, maybe some techniques that you're using. Also, if you want to see specific videos on our, on our channel, just let us know, and we'll get those videos made, and we'll put them out there so you can check it out and learn and get your mixes to that next level. But until then, I'll catch you later.